The detection of minimal residual disease after treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia is associated with poor outcome. In the BLAST trial, you treated ALL patients with MRD after an induction therapy with blinatumumab to confirm er earlier encouraging results. Could you summarize these previous results? The treat, uh, we treated in this study patients with uh, persistent MRD after um, conventional chemotherapy induction and um, these patients uh, had an MRD level below, below above 10 to the minus 4 but they were all in complete hematologic remission and the result uh, was in uh, that the patients in 78% of the cases achieved a molecular remission meaning that um, MRD was no longer detectable uh, at a minimum sensitivity of 10 to the minus 4 and this is a major result. Which patients were included in the study and what were the exclusion criteria? So the inclusion criteria were patients uh, uh, above 18 uh, without upper age limit. So the range of patients included was uh, between 80, 18 and 76 years uh, with a median age of 45 uh, years. So quite a high median age for uh, adult ALL patients. Um, Patients with prior stem cell transplantation were not uh, included, so this is a major exclusion criterion. All the other uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria were quite standard. Uh, one specific exclusion criterion for blina to warm up trials is that patients should not have a prior uh, history of uh, neurologic um, diseases. What were the characteristics of the participants and how were these patients treated? So uh, these were patients, um, adult ALL patients at a median age of 45 years, as I, as I already said. Um, approximately one half of the patients had a rather high MRD level, which was even above 10 to the minus 2. So this is very close uh, to the full uh, hematologic relapse. And uh, it is also important to note um, that um, approximately one third of the patients had their MRD detection after a previous hematologic relapse. So they were not in the first line, but after the relapse treatment. And um, this is, for example, a major difference to our pilot trial, uh, which we did uh, in um, adult ALL in Germany. And what were, were the results with respect to the um, MRD response? Can you repeat? Yeah. What were the results with respect to the MRD response? Mm -hmm. So uh, we analyzed uh, two ways of MRD response. Uh, one is the complete MRD response and one is the MRD response. Complete MRD response means um, that uh, no longer MRD was detectable. Uh, this was achieved in 78% of the patients. And MRD response, which is a little bit a broader definition, uh, means that uh, MRD is below 10 to the minus 4. And uh, the result was here that uh, we have observed in 80 6% of the patients uh, MRD response. And what, in your opinion, do the results say about the potential of blinotumumab in this setting? Um, the results say that uh, this compound is very active in a population of patients with a highly resistant disease uh, because MRD persistence means that despite intensive chemotherapy, the disease is not eradicated. And uh, the compound was active in a very short notice within uh, one month, able to uh, eradicate this disease in uh, nearly 80% of the patients. So uh, this shows a high anti-leukemic activity of the compound. It was also quite well tolerated. So I think um, this compound has a potential uh, in this setting. Uh, I expect better long-term results compared to the relapse refractory setting because uh, the patients uh, in MRD-positive disease, they are in a good general condition uh, generally because they have no detectable disease um, and they have a lower tumor burden and the chance to achieve long-term continuous remission is, uh, according to my perspective, better compared to the complete uh, full relapse setting.